This was my first how to win in two years, so I knew I had to do my research. I followed Google lead after Google lead until I finally found out. Norway is the land of the setting sun. Google is useless. Hello there guys and welcome to a how to win as Brandenburg. So, day one. Firstly, my advice would be not to set any rivals at this point. You're going to want to ally Austria and royal marriage Poland. In addition, build two cavalry units and one infantry unit. Then, unpause. During this time, you're going to want to keep improving relations with Poland until you're allied with them, as well as continuously improving with Austria. This is to ensure relations are high, so they don't demand imperial territory off you. At this point, you can pick your rivals. My advice would be not to rival allies of Poland and Austria, and also include one one province minor in that rival list. At this point, you can build a spy network in that one province minor. Now you can mothball your fort and lower army maintenance until the sale of Neumark event happens. At this point, purchase Neumark and complete the mission pertaining to it. As soon as you have the claims on Pomerania from this mission, you're going to want to attack Pomerania, having triggered the plus 5% morale of armies from your mission tree. From there, you're going to want to fully siege Pomerania. Typically, Pomerania will have one or two allies who will have gone after Berlin at this point. This is why we didn't want to destroy the fort in Berlin. Upon defeating them, you're going to want to piece them out for money and trade power to pay back the loans you took for buying Neumark. In the peace with Pomerania, you're going to want to take its eastern provinces and vassalize the rest. Having secured this piece, complete the mission in your mission tree, which will give you claims on the Teutonic Order. Now you're waiting until January 1450, when Poland's truce with the Teutonic Order will be finished. During this time, you're going to want to be improving relations with outraged countries. In January, you're going to want to attack the Teutonic Order, with the help of Poland promising them land. Just before you do this, set all provinces of the Teutonic Order as provinces of interest. Then, during the war, rush to occupy every province that Poland has set as a province of interest. This should be a relatively easy war, as the Teutons are usually embroiled in another war from now, and even if they aren't, their allies aren't going to be any match for the polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. In the peace, you're going to want to take Königsberg and that surrounding area, and essentially as much land as you can take without a huge coalition. You're also going to want to release Danzig. This is very important as it breaks the event chain that embroils Poland in a war with the Teutons and vassalizing Danzig. If there is a coalition, Provided it's small enough, it shouldn't be too much of an issue, as you should have large allies. From here, you should focus on paying off your loans, and potentially looking for emperorship. Personally, I use the bonuses of the emperorship to expand into the Lubeck and Baltic trade nodes, until I can turn Protestant, and form Prussia. From there on, you have the strongest military ideas in the game, so you should have Germany under control in no time. Thank you guys for watching, please let me know who you want me to do next, using the poll in the description. I know it's been a while, but rest assured these will be coming out a lot more than the last time. Goodbye. Er schöpft und aufgerieben in treuer Ritterschaft. Hello, my children. I must give you a message. Subscribe to the Social Streamers for Eternal Salvation.